What's up? It's John Crump. Recently, Dark made us some DLD After Dark, and I took a tour of the DC area's newest shooting range, XCAL, which is located in Ashburn, Virginia, and it's opening up spring of this year. Check it out and come along with us. And then this is the main staircase. So XCAL is a 95,000 square foot facility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything on the first floor is going to be shooting sports. Everything on the second floor is going to be fitness, yeah. and then our members lounge. Yeah, it looks like you know, coming in. It looked like all like a whole bunch of equipment was already up there. Yeah, so a lot of the equipment. Pretty much, I would say 90% of the equipment's upstairs. I'm making like 80% of the equipment upstairs already. Yeah, that's so, awesome. I would say the only thing that's non-shooting sports related downstairs is going to be the Midway Cafe. So that's that full service restaurant. So yeah. we'll have shakes, smoothies, make your own grain bowls for the fitness side, to burgers and wings for the kind of for the gun side, yeah. Yeah, right? And then everything in between. Yeah, one of the reasons why I recorded so I can uh, go back and watch all the footage. No, I yeah. Yeah. Take stills out of it. So it's, really, it's more of a, you know, eight hundred and ten dollars. Yeah. 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 And then right now, Bobby's building here. This is going to be our orientation room. So this is going to be floor to ceiling glass. Okay. So one of the first things we wanted people to see was education and safety happening. Yeah. So any new shooter at XCAL regardless of experience to go through our safety brief, cool. put up by eight minute video, and then a quick presentation from our, one of our safety officers. Nice. So this is what we do, concealed carry, intro gun safety, beginning to advance, handgun, long carbine, shotgun, tactical training, all that sort of good stuff. Nice. Uh, and this can also be used for corporate events. We can reserve, people can rent this, reserve this for parties, events, anniversaries, stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah, I'll show you the last classroom. So this is the private classroom we'll use for kind of the build classes, build your own AR, stuff like that. Um, yeah. well, that, that you might be a great resource then, because um, we probably won't have it right when we open, because there's so many. Just the amount of inventory you need to carry to have all those parts for, for everything, the springs, the detents, something like that. But Man, we, uh, we probably within a couple of months of opening, we'll, we'll have both we'll yeah. classes. We could have sure. a connection for you. We have okay. a relationship with okay. the yep. company. And are you guys also going to be like in 02, 07, 02? Yep, yep, okay. yep. So we're okay. class we'll 3 range, so we'll do NFAs, we'll do yeah. full, full autos, we'll do suppressed. Yes, yeah, so we'll class nice. class yeah, so that, that, that's actually already in place, so we can do, uh, we're taking firearms right now, we've already done a few transfers, we've actually already, already sold some stuff, um, nice. you know, with some of our founding members at kind of that, that cost. Yeah. So this is all retail, so this will, this, not will be, this will be the largest gun retailer in my account. In terms of square footage, we have almost Damn. 8,000 square feet of retail space for, for firearm stuff. That's yeah, massive. So along this this back wall here, so those cubbies will get will be back here, and that's where we'll feature all of our feature firearms, kind of high end, unique stuff. Um, along this flat wall here, will be more volume of long guns, uh, broken down by brand, and then we'll have the long L shaped display glass display case holding all the handguns and optics. Uh, and then we have all the accessories you need, so eyes, ears, uh, gun bolts, magazines, um, all the accessories you need to customize uh, any firearm. So it'd be a, a lot of stuff in this retail space. I wonder how long until Silver Eagle goes out of business. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. Well, so somebody has to let me. I, 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 I still show Super right now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I want to say out in the Midwest. Or so most rangers go to Silver Eagle. They have you can see the ranges, but uh, acoustically, one of the things Jason wanted to make sure was that no, the only place you heard gunshots was in the gun range. Mm. All right, so no gun um, gunshots would be escaping yeah. anywhere. And so with the windows were weak for So what we did was instead of having actual windows, we're gonna have digital windows. So be, there'll be three 4K TVs recessed into the walls, and the CCTVs will be displayed on those TVs. That's so you can still see in the rain without having the noise coming through. And when you're out there, you don't feel like everyone's watching you. Exactly. You don't have that physical. Yeah, yeah. Um, another way we achieve that, the, the acoustic properties, is this range is a building within a building. Yeah. So it has its own concrete poured lid. There's literally four feet, as a four foot gap from the top of the range to the bottom of the second floor. And there's insulation on both sides, the top of the range and the bottom of the second floor. So um, you should never hear any gunshots when you're doing a yoga class or lifting weights or anything like that. And then vice yeah. versa, you shouldn't hear anybody dropping weights upstairs out of it. Wow, that's a good one. So it's a lot of insulation, a lot of concrete. Yeah. A lot of poured concrete, uh, which we'll show you when we, we go over from the range. So we'll start with, um, so we have our Apex membership, mm -hmm. which is the kind of our premium high-end membership. It includes everything ESCO has to offer. Mm -hmm. um, the price point of that? So the price point for that is two fifty a month for a family, but with a nine k initiation fee. Okay. So, so that's how we kept that membership more exclusive. Okay. Um, so those members have their own private entrance. So this would be the premium members' entrance. They have a key fob. They could access the door. The elevator would take them directly upstairs to either the gym or the members' lounge. And then more importantly, Apex members and our premium members have access to what we call our private shooting suite. Uh, I think we're eventually going to call it the Metal of Honor suite. We just haven't, haven't finalized that yet. So this will be the first of the gun ranges. These doors are actually going today. So that's pretty exciting. So this is the private shooting suite. So nice. only our premium members, which will be about 300 members, would have access to this space, to this gun range. Um, so all of our ranges are 25 yards long. They're all rated up to 50 BMG, so in theory, you could come in and shoot a 50 cal if you wanted to. Yeah. Uh, class 3 range, so full auto, suppressed rentals. Oh, the class 3 range, that's, uh, that's, that's big. Yeah. And then, um, you know, in terms of ammo, no green tips, no tracers, no yeah. bimetal rounds, kind of the basics of that. Yeah. Um, you know, but we will allow, you know, holster draws, concealed carry draws. Oh, like thank God. Stuff like that. <laughs> um, double taps, rapid fires. And then if you take one of our, one of our classes called Beyond the Line, which is basically a skills assessment uh, through Bruce and Gene. Uh, and when we go to the private ranges in this range, you can then go forward the firing line uh, and do some still carry drills, defensive tactics drills, stuff like that. Uh, but there's 23 feet of common space. So the firing line in this range is right here, this uh, shadow chalk line. Mm -hmm. So this is all common space. So there'd be a sectional sofa, a coffee table, refrigerator in this space. Oh. You can comfortably fit 10 people in here. That'll be the capacity. No. And there's two shooting positions. So there'll be two retrievers separated by a piece of uh, suspended ballistic glass. Okay. Um, so two people can be shooting, while other people socialize and hanging out. Um, we think this will, this will be a great spot to socialize, have fun, in a safe environment for those premium members. Wow. Dude, that's this is all our vault room. Yeah. So there's we have two types of premium memberships. We have our Apex membership, which yeah. we advertise online, uh, we market for it, and then we have our founding membership, which we don't advertise. It's through word of mouth and referral only. Uh, and there's only gonna be 50 founding members. And one of the perks of being a founding member is you get your own personalized Volt Tech RS800 uh, gun vault. This is um, actually Volt Tech. I, I love yeah, love the company. Tech's awesome stuff. We, we, we definitely love the uh, the technology leap they've taken in terms of combining firearms with, with the technology in terms of yeah. the Wi-Fi, the biometrics. And, uh, and then just the look of it aesthetically, it's a, it's a great looking safe. Yeah. Um, it's sleek, it's clean, uh, kind of fits into what Jason's going for in terms of his look as well. Yeah. Breaking that barrier of how do I keep this completely away from everyone in the world but access it in less than two seconds. That's right. <laughs> Which they did an excellent job though. Yeah, the biometrics on the vault are for so all the ranges that you watch and change outside the ranges to the thumb is still with the lead on both of that with the black color powder off your right. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll start in the luxury range. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. Oh, so I'm, sure, I'm sure you've seen uh, gun yeah. ranges being built before, right? Yeah. Um, so the reason we call this the luxury range is because one, the size of the shooting stall. 
Mm -hmm. and then two of the way the stalls are designed. So mm -hmm. all the stalls in this space are five feet wide by 10 feet deep. Wow. So it's a large shooting stall. So 50 yeah. square feet of, of shooting space, you can comfortably fit four people, which is the max capacity, while not bumping elbows or if you're going, having, having instruction. You know, the instructor's not, you know, not to butt with you, trying to, trying yeah. to teach you, right? And then also the way the stalls are designed, so Jason actually partnered with Rushing Ranges, uh, who's designing and building the range, uh, to create angles to the shooting stalls, right? Because yeah, most shooting stalls are parallel, yeah. Ours will be angled. So we have an inward angle towards the firing line that helps accelerate the air through the stall in terms of pushing the lead, the soot, the smoke out of the stall faster, getting fresh air into the stall sooner. And there's a slight outward angle after the firing line, two feet after the firing line. Yes, yeah. And that's going to help push the noise down range as opposed to the muzzle noise bouncing off parallel walls. Oh, nice. Really nice design feature. And then yeah. we said I go with a rubber berm as well. Like Silver Eagle has a steel trap, which is very efficient at collecting the lead. It just it's a lot louder. Yeah, yeah. It takes a little more effort to, to mine the lead, but it's a lot better experience in terms of the noise level. Yeah, when I'm running like uh, something suppressed with subsonics, like I'll yep. run a scorpion, you can just hear it like, fuck, 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 <laughs> like just hitting the back. Yep. Yeah, hitting the lead is, is louder than the you know, round going off. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. I mean, that's got to be like 16 inches wider than most, uh, most lanes. Yeah. 12, 12, 16. Yeah, I would say Silver Eagle's probably three, 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 maybe two. Yeah, I got everything in here. Then. Here we go. So you have the private shooting suite for our premium members. They only have access to that, right? But we have five of these private ranges. You just open for members and to the public. Dude, that's awesome. And so this is a great place for one-on-one -on -one instruction, a new shooter, it's less intimidating, don't, don't have any other shooters in here. This yeah. is totally acoustically separate and ballistically separate. It's poured concrete all the way down either side. So you yeah. could take off your ears with somebody, instruct Instruct, them. put them back on, and continue shooting. Wow. Yep, so you're not shouting over nine, you know, nine other, nine other guns <laughs> going off when you're having an instruction. Yeah. Um, and there's 18 feet of common space between the firing line and the back wall. So four people is the capacity in here as well. Um, but this is great for social nights, date nights, stuff like that. And we think this is going to be a game changer. There's no other range in the country that I know of that has five dedicated private ranges for member usage. Yeah. Like some ranges have private ranges, but it's for testing weapons, for doing um, videos and shows, as opposed to actually member usage and, and public usage. Yeah. Now this is going to be going that's up. The retriever. Yep. Okay. That's going to be carrying the retriever. I didn't know if this was going to be down here for some reason just curious and so this is, this is another place where if that member takes the beyond the line assessment uh, and that member passes it they can go forward the firing line here as well oh, they, nice. we can remove the table and they can go forward the firing line all the way up to the berm and do hip draws concealed carry all, all those all those techniques you never get to practice moving and shooting yep. yeah that's game changer yep. Yep. yeah so and then you can even do archery bow and arrow you know crossbows in here because you control the firing lines you can go grab your arrows after you shoot them wow nice the drop ceiling is in, the lighting in as well. So, why we call this the tactical range is if you look at the ceiling, going down range, there's more steel baffles in the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So, this allows us to go forward the firing line. And then, no matter where you are in the range, it's going to bounce the bullet at a safe trajectory, trajectory if you happen to hit the ceiling. Yeah. Um, just based off, off geometry. So, there's no ricochets in the face in this range. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, so, this is where we That's do the steel shoots, uh, move and shoot training, optical training. Tactical training, um, all fold in house competitions, eventually want to do professional competitions, you know, IDPA, DFA competitions, uh, do lots of drill, all that. But on a typical Friday night, there's tension positions here. Small holes, small, four feet by six feet, um, the same angle built into the small That's awesome. Can I walk in just a little bit, like a few yeah, feet, just check yeah, it out? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I used to fucking follow him videos before I bring him in. <laughs> well, you see, he said he'd like to know what he's doing. Hey, I'm a writer. I think mm -hmm. those are two separate skill sets that have some overlap. The first two rows will be for coat check. So if you shoot with us, you want to go eat, check your bags. We'll check them for a few hours, go eat, go shop, go work out, etc. The remaining lockers will be for long-term storage. So let's say you're uh, new to firearms and you rent a firearm with us four or five times, you're ready to buy your first firearm. 
If you don't feel safe storing it in your house, or you have kids in the house, you just don't feel comfortable with it, you can rent one of these lockers and store it here on a monthly basis. Mm. Um, you know, or if you have too many guns, uh, store mattress <laughs> here, or if you're trying to hide a gun from a spouse, you can yeah. buy it here and yeah. store it here. They never know. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't have a lot of guns. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot. I really uh, yeah. do not have access back here. Um, but we do have towel service for upstairs, a laundry room. Um, one of the nice things that Jeff and Jason thought of is we got to take care of our employees, right? Because mm -hmm. the employees are the ones yeah. taking care of the members, so we have a dedicated locker room just for the employees, um, nice. which is which is in the fitness and gun world is unheard of. Yeah, really. Every single firearm organization, whether it's you know dealer or that, that I've worked for, has always been like nice out front, trash pit in the back, exactly. and yep. no resources. So employee break room. That's awesome. And then this will eventually, once all the crap is out of here, be our gunsmithing area. Oh, um, so, in the beginning, actually, do you guys know any good gunsmiths? We, we've been shown there's yeah. not good gunsmiths in the area, and our local or even ones that are willing to re relocate. Um, but in the beginning, we have, you know, right now we have more armorers than gunsmiths hired. Yeah. We'll do basic cleanings, optics, you know, sight adjustments, stuff like that. Uh, we have the ultrasonic cleaning yeah, tank. Got a awesome couple on so. Bro, um, shooting guy in New England. Swamp dog. Uh, and then this is the indoor loading dock. So most gun ranges, nice. people are, are pulling in, putting an ammo can in the front door and pulling on inventory. This is the back of the house, the truck pulls in, member never sees us bringing in guns, ammo, toilet paper, man, food products, stuff like that. This is huge. Right? This uh, especially, right? man. It's hot outside, it's temperature control. Raining. Yeah. Man, there's so much. 26 foot truck is eight feet wide. So you give them space, you give complete concealment, which is good for several reasons. So you can actually see, so that's a little trap door, so you can go on top of the range, but you can see the gap between the top. So that's the top of the range right there, that steel, that concrete, and then okay. that's the air gap between the top of the range and the bottom of the second floor. Wow. Uh, and then we also have a freight elevator, and more importantly, our freight elevator goes all the way to the roof. Uh -huh. So when we're doing filter changes, we're not using the pulley system to pull up clean filters and dirty filters, we just take it all the way to the roof and do the filter changes. Wow. learned from other gun ranges, is all gun ranges said they wish they had more storage. Mm -hmm. So this is, we call this our warehouse, but this runs the entire length of the range. So this is all for all of our inventory and supplies. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. So we should have plenty of The entire storage. length of the range? Yep. Holy back shit. here, this is all storage. You're gonna need to put some people back here on rollerblades. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so all the firearms and ammo will be further back more secure, but each of these double doors lock. Um, you know, it's a separate lock for each one of them, so yeah. it's a very secure space, one way in, one way out. Camera pointing right here, so it'll be a very secure space. That's awesome. Right, that's awesome. This is sort of the, the zombie apocalypse bunker, right? Yeah, there's food yeah. here, there's be guns, there'll be ammo. And you sure you guys are familiar with CrossFit? Yeah. yeah. So this is our functional fitness space, this will be our tank. Our, our spin on CrossFit, right? So we have the assault bikes, the rowers, the big rig in the middle with the monkey bars, all the toys, kettlebells, dumbbells, bumper plates. Dude, that's awesome. And the two things we added to our, our functional fitness workout is heavy bag work. We felt that throwing a punch and a kick was pretty functional. Yeah. Um, and then we also, we, call, we wanted some sort of cognitive training. So we found this company called Reaxi. And this is a fully integrated light bulb. What? So kind of like you see NFL athletes doing the light drills for um, hand-eye hand coordination, speed, and timing. Um, so this will be a three-panel unit, and it houses lights just like that to do speed drills, memory games, um, go no go, where it says hit the green lights, but it's only but it's throwing different colors at you. Yeah. And so we feel this also ties well in with the shooting sports side as well, in terms sure. of decision making and hand-eye coordination. That's awesome. Yeah. And then two garage doors that open up. There'll be turf out there. Uh, there'll be a turf field, so we'll have uh, sleds, tires, uh, all those cool toys to do outdoor training as well. I did not even realize that these were bay doors, garage yeah. doors, until you mentioned that. That's awesome. Can we test out the uh, heavy bag? No, I'm not It sure. works. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> no, I had that especially on my shoulder. Oh, right yeah. So, we just uh, can't punch anything right yeah, now. I forgot about that. It would really be bad. What you do your shoulder? Just, I, I just tweaked it and I ripped the... Okay, rotator cuff? Yeah. Labrum? Rotator cuff? Or yeah, something like that. Okay. My doctor said I'm going to be needing a rotator cuff surgery when I'm 
He said, before you're 40. Yeah, I wouldn't be a young kid. I'm 45. Mm -hmm. Oh, Turning 46 in like a week. Yeah, it's all, man. Uh, this is our powerlifting space. So for those members that want to do um, heavy lifting, uh, want to do unlimited uh, limit lifting, uh, they can safely drop the weights in here without interrupting or making too much noise and disturbing the other members who don't want to hear that. Uh, and then more importantly, another design feature that's probably very unique and kind of very expensive is <laughs> this transition strip. Uh, what it's hiding is an actual gap in the building. So this part of the building, yeah. It's completely separate from this part of the building. Nice. So it's separate footers, separate steel, separate concrete. Good. And so there's no physical contact, so none of the vibration or noise will reverberate to the rest of the building. Classes, are, are there... uh, indoor group fitness, so uh, Zumba, group strength, yoga nice. classes. Um, and then on the other side of the hallway is the cycle studio with the, I call them the disco lights, with the LED lights, the sound system, the bikes. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it'll be that, that party atmosphere in here. Let me get from this thing. You can go in the studio too okay. if you want. Yeah, yeah. Feel free. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean. Oh. Oh. You might be another picture, man. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> the. Uh... Lights look good. Yeah, well, they're not, they're not up yet. Yeah, I know, but you have to be working on them a little bit? Uh, no, I, still, I still need the network. I mean, I probably oh, still need it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I can't, I can't control them. I can't control the network. Yeah. Well, Jason's working on that right now. He, he should have it shortly. Yeah. So this is another outdoor space. So that's another garage that opens up. And we can do outdoor classes here. So yeah. outdoor yeah. yoga, yoga in the stars, outdoor cycle classes, stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this is awesome. And this is a dojo. So we'll have the martial arts. So Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Krav Maga. Uh, we actually, I did it with Bruce, who you met, and, uh, and uh, some other guys installed these nets this weekend. Cut him to shape and put him in there. Who That's do you awesome. have doing your jiu-jitsu? His name's David Porter. He's a he's a disciple of Pedro Sauer. He's a Pedro Sauer black belt. Yeah, yeah. Spa mm -hmm. services. So massages. So basic massage services. Nice. Deep tissue sports therapy stuff like that. Uh, really help with the fitness side. It's cross threaded, so you got to do right, left, yeah, right. No. Yeah. It's like my gym tech multi. And then you guys want to see the locker rooms? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So each locker room has its own dry sauna. Nice. Sorry, guys. Um, all the lockers, you don't need to bring your own lock or key, it's all touch pad. Uh, and then there's eight showers. The nice thing with the showers, each shower has a little dry changing area. Oh, so you can change in that area as opposed to coming back out in the locker. You guys got big fingers. Towel service, obviously, you don't need towels. towels. The child center for your five year old. Um, so from I was seven and five, seven or five, eight and five year old. Yeah. So I had diapers to eleven years old. So we'd have computer lab, <laughs> arts and craft tables, theater system, bathroom. Drop your kids off for a couple hours. Um, nice. And and, the, and the, the neat thing is this is standard in the gym world. Yeah. But it's also for the shooting sports world. So you can drop your kids off and go shooting too. Man. So there's no gunners in, in the world that has childcare. Yeah, I've not there. I've not seen that. So ever. So you said that it's fifteen dollars per child. Mm -hmm. it's, that's per child per hour. No, for a month. What? Yeah, fifteen bucks a month. Okay. So this side of the mirror is going to be all your free weight, so barbells, dumbbells, plate loaded equipment, and stuff like that. I have it. Yes. Nice to see you again. Cool. All right, man. Look forward to having you on part of this. So what do you think? It's like it's got the wow factor now, right? <laughs> And this is the just the machine based strength area yeah. and then all the car equipment is on the perimeter facing a window so when you're aimlessly walking and running on a treadmill you get to have a view a little bit right yeah. so this is fitness check-in so this is where members are coming for the fitness side of things um, and then this is actually so when we're in the functional fitness area and we showed you the reacting light walls. Yeah. So we'll have some more of that in the light walls out here. Nice. Um, but we also, we didn't realize that reacting how there's other cool equipment as well. So they have the reacting board and the reacting treadmills. Now what makes that equipment unique is those pieces of equipment articulate 360 degrees. Mm. So you're on this platform doing a lunge or plank a push up and it's moving on you in an unpredictable manner. 
So you have to react to that stimulus. So yeah. in terms of you know, muscle recruitment, core stability, stabilizing muscles, you get a better workout in yeah. this time. Yeah. Oh, that wall is dead. So this is a display case, high-end firearms. So to give, to give me an example, so we do founding member events as well. Um, so you guys are familiar with Holland & Holland? Yeah. yeah. So we actually had a Holland & Holland event over at DC Prime right across the street. Oh, yeah. um, the U.S. sales representative, his name is Guy, he's also British, but he brought 17 Holland & Holland guns with him, oh, totaling wow. about $3.5 million worth of firearms. Uh, we just did an event for our founding members, um, show off the firearms, yeah. have food and drink, uh, made two sales out of that. So two people bought Holland & Holland from that event. Really? So, wow. yep. And so this is open lounge space, so there'll be tabletop dining, sectional sofas, full service bar. Um, initially when we open, the majority of the food service will come from the downstairs restaurant. Uh, eventually we want to turn our catering kitchen into a full service kitchen and have its, uh, the founders club will have its own separate menu. Um, but when we open, there'll be some specialty items um, just for up here as well. Nice. Really nice. Uh, these guys also have their own locker rooms, so private locker rooms for the premium members. And probably one of the biggest advantages or biggest perks of being a premium member is you have unlimited guest passes. Because mm. you want you to bring in your coworkers, friends, and family, right? Show off the club, yep. bring those people in. Maybe some of them will join too. It'll likely be people of the same. Of the same. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, we have spaces de just dedicated to host events. So this is a small conference room. Um, so whether it's um, I think like an executive team meeting, a small dinner, yeah. um, or even just come in and, and do some work in here if it's not being used. You know, a lot of people work from home these days. Um, they, yeah. can, they can reserve that space. You said it's a nine grand initiation fee, and then how much? Two fifty a month. Two fifty a month. Yep, for the family during pre-sale. Yeah. Nice, I can. Yeah. But the nine K during pre-sale is split up into three installments of three K per year for okay. three years. Okay. Yep. Uh, this so, is a large conference room, so larger corporate event, fifteen person boardroom style table in the middle. Yeah. Um, larger social gathering, and both rooms have AB hookups, so you can do business presentation, show videos, play music. Oh, nice. Billiards room, so two full tables. Oh, that's sick. So you just sell one machine gun in two fifty a month. That's it. That's right. <laughs> and then this is the cigar lounge. So oh, wow. walking humidor in the back corner. If you walk in there, it smells like cedar because the cedar woods in there. We're getting. I think they're gonna build the humidor tomorrow, actually. Wow. So that's all be awesome. cedar lined humidor, yeah. temperature yeah. control. Yeah. Humidity you control. guys want to get Joe to work for you? Yeah, he's he's a stogie a day kind of dude. Actually, he's not too. He. Yeah, Kevin Dixon. Yeah. Is it okay if I step in? Go right ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Are you glad I'm not one of those narrating recorders? <laughs> so as I walk in, I smell. <laughs> With that voice? Yeah. The first thing I recognize is the smell of cedar. That's awesome. Well, it smells like Peter Dottie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the new one from our hearing aid. Should we double your tag? Have a bit of overnight. And the last space is uh, this is a larger reservable party space. So if one of the premium members wants to have a larger gathering, 30, 40, 50 people, they can reserve this room. And this is also configurable, so we can do tabletop dining, high top dining, buffet style. Uh, we can kind of customize it for whatever event they're looking for. Nice. And then all the members, all the premium members have access and a view of the feature patio. So the fire pit, the fire table's out there. We'd have outdoor lounge furniture. You can come out there, drink a bourbon, smoke a cigar, watch people play golf. Dude, that's awesome. You said every member. Just premium. Oh, premium. All okay. the premium members all have access and review. Is it open now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, that works. Oh yeah, look at that. So this space is west, so this will get all the sunsets. Nice. Even on a day like today, you know, it's a it's awesome Dude, the, the background, the view, like the, everything looks really good in here. 